CBS2 is on your corner and in your corner. And that's why we've been spotlighting local business owners who made pandemic pivots. Last month, we introduced you to a man who left a corporate job to open a bagel shop. Well, today, we meet a woman with a similar story. During COVID, she too decided to follow her dream. Here's John Diaz. This is called Carmine. To say Amy Gofton. These are great. These just came in. They're Genestra. Nose. These are called Billy Balls. They're really fun. And loves flowers. We have some peony, which are just opening. Is an understatement. The way the petals connect, the slight variances in the color, it's a sensory experience. Some of them smell incredibly rich. And that passion is in her roots. Her mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother all love to garden, too. I don't feel like I'm working any given day. It's I love it. Which is why it may be hard to believe owning the floral shop Studio Nectar in Montclair, New Jersey wasn't always her job. Before this, she was in fashion for more than two decades, most recently designing handbags for Kate Spade. I kind of got away from the hands-on design part as you get further and further along in the corporate ladder um, and I was missing that tactileness of putting my hands on product and building something from scratch. So like her flowers, she as a person continued to grow when the world shut down during the COVID pandemic, exploring what makes her truly happy, flowers and being at home more closer to her husband and their two sons. I was missing my kids growing up and I felt like the reason I loved fashion was no longer my job. So she quit and started small, designing bouquets and arrangements for people in a closed studio. And then just three months ago, opened her storefront on Bellevue Avenue. And what sets Studio Nectar apart is their focus on sustainability and getting locally sourced flowers. During the growing season, we spend a lot of time and energy trying to find things that are really unusual and really fresh. So we brought in a ton of amaryllis. We have them all potted in the back. Now she's making customers as happy as she is and says she has no regrets with the career change. The trade-offs are things that were probably more important to me when I was younger that I, I grew out of and didn't realize I wouldn't miss. And proves your true direction in life can bloom when you least expect it. From Montclair, New Jersey, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. So according to a survey done by Prudential, since the start of the COVID pandemic, 20% of workers have changed careers. Work-life balance was the top reason for it. Yeah, I tell you. Everybody rethinking. Really shifted things, that's for sure.